All right, guys. So here's what we got. This is a new salt water tank, 36 gallon bow front. Have about 55 pounds of live rock in there. Uh, 40 pounds of live sand. Uh, the tank cycled in about eight or ten days. Uh, thanks to all the already cured live rock and live sand, uh, we're about two and a half weeks in. Uh, we added these uh, Ocellaris clownfish about three days ago and they're really really happy. Uh, levels are looking good. Uh, having, uh, I made the mistake when I first got to put the tank together of using tap water with the chlorinator. That was a mistake. I know, rookie mistake. Um, and I started getting some algae growth as you can see there. Uh, I've since uh, changed that water very quickly and I used distilled water. Uh, so very clean water with a salt mix. I'm using the instant ocean salt mix. Um, uh, and I'm waiting for my RODI unit to arrive. I ordered a, a bulk reef supply four stage RODI and it's going to have the TDS meter and uh, the, the pressure gauge on it already on it, uh, membrane flush. So uh, it should be pretty good and that way I don't have to keep buying distilled water. Um, as you can see we got some good rocks that have some cor good coralline algae growth on them. A lot of these rocks are starting to get some really good color. You see our, uh, our Ocellaris are looking really, really good. They're happy. They actually started building a little nest uh, back there in that hole between those two red rocks. And it goes back there into a cave and they started building a little nest back there. Uh, the second day they were in this tank. Uh, so just to show you what, uh, what we're running. Um, Tanks run it at uh, 77.9, so about 78 degrees. I got a marine land uh, penguin with a uh, filter running with a bio wheel with carbon activated filters in there. I got two of them in there. Uh, my 200 watt heater. I got the uh, C Clone 100 uh, protein skimmer. It's skimming really well. Uh, I've seen a lot of different reviews about this, and uh, and you know it was a hundred bucks, and, and it's doing really really well. As you can see, the color of that skimmate is doing really good. It took about a week to break in, so you gotta have some patience there. Uh, and this is just a filter that came when I bought the tank kit. Uh, just a basic filter. Uh, I did put a carbon activated filter in there. Uh, I figured you can't have too much filtration, so I just let it run in there. Now this is really nice. This is the, the Fluval LED lights. Uh, They're rated up to 25,000 Kelvin, so it should give you more than enough light for any uh, marine reef tank. Uh, they're specially made for marine reefs. It has a switch here on the side, which you got broad day. We got daylight, and then you got your your uh, anti your your blue lights for the night. So it gives it a nice nice color in there that back over so all in all the tanks looking pretty good um, I was able to make a good bit of swim throughs in there uh, some caves since I did have a good abundance of rock um, that I was able to get for a really really good price I'm also running this marine land uh, pump as a power head right now this is a 600 model um, I'm seeing that it's it might be a little small, so I just ordered a 1200. Uh, they're they're reasonably priced, so that should be enough for this small tank. Uh, since I'm not planning to have any uh, big corals or anything that require um, too much water flow, uh, the only thing I might be considering putting in there is a, maybe an, a bubble tip and enemy for these guys, uh, and that's really about it as far as uh, anything but fish. So right now we're doing good. Um, you guys have any suggestions? It's right now on this stand. It came for it. It came with it. Um, I've been using the Reef Fusion from Seacam, the two-part system, um, and and it's been doing really good. As soon as I put it in there, I could see some color, more color. As you could see, color uh, 
from the coralline algae growing on this rock here. So we're, we're starting to see very, very good results. And that, I mean, that was within three, four days has been been in here. So, I mean, so it, it's been doing really, really well. Uh, if any of you got any more suggestions, let me know. Uh, comments, anything like that. Um, what was I going to say? Also, uh, the, we're, we're planning on doing a couple more fish. Like I said, it is a 36 gallon, so we're not going to do too much. But uh, maybe a, a mandarin goby, dragonette um, for the bottom. They like to crawl around everywhere. And then a long nose hawkfish. And uh, maybe one more after that. And that'd, that'd be about it for this tank. Um, this stuff right here is called Ceramico. It's really, really good stuff. It's clean, and and it, uh, so far it's been having some good growth on it as well. So um, that's what this stuff down here, this little tree thing is down here as well. So yeah, guys, anything you want to say, reviews, comments, anything like that, give me a shout. Um, I appreciate any more advice you got. Like I said, this is a new tank, so uh, any advice uh, would be greatly appreciated.